What works for you? This apparently trivial question posed by the New Cities Foundation to this section, I'm so pleased to participate in, had me stepping back and rephrase it to what is work? What is the framework that we do as a Brazilian collective of art moving in the section of art, activism, and the city? How do you relate work to our motivations, political point of view, and desire? To resuming one question, what drives us to work after all? And I think what motivated us some 12 years back was the sense of the shrinking of the public in many aspects. First of all, the lack of public spaces and the sense of community of the ones who share it, for the city was growing ever more segregated by its slaves, and also the lack of public debate about how the city should grow and according to which uh, interests. So uh, most of all also because of this lack of desire of the people to engage in the transformation of this scenario. And Looking through the point of view of art, we understood that art should engage more directly into the everyday life of the city. That means that we should go out of the studio and contaminate art practices with other disciplines, contexts, and publics, such as urban planning, ecology, and social movements. That means something that means like uh, stop being artists that make things to start being artists that make things happen. That we could also design social and political processes within the realm of the city. So assuming that our work works like this, I'll try to show some projects and, and specify, specify how it worked and why. To talk straight works. So this installation was made by stacking recyclable garbage to form the word luxu, it means luxury, and it's a straight comment about the consumer society and how its byproducts are affecting our environment. It's also a homage to concrete poet Augusto de Campos, who had his own opinion of how art worked. His opinion, he said, art has no, the value of art is that art has no value, it has no use, but once in a while it can provoke illumination and transform people. So this idea of transforming is something that we do believe that art through transforming the perception of, of things also transforms society itself. The next one, to fill the gaps of the city. This installation was a bridge overcoming an urban obstacle in the intersection with, of Vale do Anhangabaú and Rua São João. And it was meant to rearticulate a pedestrian walkway that was uh, obliterated by this obstacle. Uh, it was really uh, set in a specific symbolic position of Sao Paulo. This is where Anhangabaú River run. Now its bridge provider was also meant to, to illuminate this degraded spot resulted by this obstacle making visible the invisible works. Uh, this is a series of small stencils tagged linearly over v Villa Madalena streets. Uh, they were meant to recall the existence of Rio Verde riverbed, a river also blocked by the city growth, which shows our conflictual relation towards rivers in Sao Paulo. And in this, 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 this uh, place, and we got uh, directly affected and we are also supporting a project that will renovate this area by trying to regain the permeability of the soil and create a more direct relation between community and the natural resources. This project will, will be able to see in some of the site visits on Thursday. Networks. Uh, networks demand a mix of organization, debate, and also joy. Uh, some events like Baixo Centro and Existe Amor in SP are trying to creatively resignify degraded and underused urban areas such as Minhocão, an elevated urban highway in downtown Sao Paulo, and Praça Roosevelt, a gentrified square. It's, it's important to know that there's a strong, strong web of social actors and cultural aids and parades calling for the participation of the public and the occupation of the spaces in the city. Designing a relational interface for community-based projects. So this project was made among the inhabitants of Santo Domingo Savio, a comuna in, in Medellin, Colombia. Uh, we used this uh, handmade uh, media device to collect testimonies, stories, and wishes of their inhabitants. Uh, with that material, we edited it and painted it in, large, in 16 large banners that were assembled over the rooftops uh, of the comuna. You could read them like independently or as a continuous narrative as one moves up in the cable. Uh, in the violent past of Medellin. 
stated how art and education are providing a context for reconciliation and emancipation of this neighborhood. Uh, from this perspective, he sees that understanding under which social, economical, and political process he has envisioned ways to overcome what he called the invisible borders so that he could help building a better neighborhood and a better city. Merging art and activism, poetical and political. We don't see them as separate, but really intertwined in our art practices. One example is this project that was meant to portray the urban renovation and disappearance of Largo da Batata in Pinheiros. This is an urban enclave stuck in the middle of a real estate developing areas where migrants from the north of Sao Paulo gather while commuting between center and periphery. By undertaking a series of interviews and also researching the uh, public policies, we were trying to create uh, cartographies to to point that there is the importance of a multicultural, a multi-mix and democratic city, just the opposite of the project of the tabula rasa that was really implemented in the site, as you can see. Conflict is a creative tool that works. Yeah, we are really interested in conflict and the private situations in which people, through improvisation, can are able to move forward. And the next project also deal with conflict uh, context uh, specific, specifically the uh, repression against homelessness and, and informality in downtown Sao Paulo 2004 uh, at the clash of low tolerance policies. Uh, this installation is a kind of nomad multimedia screening that was moving towards the center of Sao Paulo collecting stories and specifically relating to, to those conflicts and those clashes uh, each of these uh, shows are different because they were uh, really open to the interaction of the public, so each one was different from the other. Symbolic gestures can be powerful. Uh, the Green Car Project uh, was a kind of uh, appropriating uh, left cars in the street by transforming them into small gardens. Uh, these breathing islands on the streets were meant to relate to the automobile culture we had been badly shaping Sao Paulo since the 50s, and also amplified the debate about urban ecology, which is more recent. We did a lot of that in Sao Paulo, in Rio, in Vienna, also a buzz, and this is one of our cars being taken because somebody complained it was stealing some places, uh, some uh, the car place. Recycling the city works good. And this is the last project. Well, when the, the city of Sao Paulo got rid of, of its outdoors, Bijari, in collaboration with architect José Subero, had an idea while observing these suddenly useless monuments of the city. We saw trunks and trees where there were tons of steels, and we imagined how cool it would be to occupy these uh, empty spaces with nature as a symbolic gesture of occupying a place where, that hosted a visual pollution and obliterated our architecture. And, well, just to wrap up, I would say that none of these initiatives work alone, but as long as they are constantly reframed, reenacted, and transformed in relation to the emerging and, and moving context and publics. And Bijari strive that art can be a tool to overcome the so-called uh, invisible borders, so to include the other, the different, the decent, and most of all that art can be a tool for creating and, and keeping the, the drives of desire so that we can live together in better ways. Thank you.